Hi there, my name is Joy, welcome to my channel. So I usually post about minimalism and mum life and things, but this week's a bit different. I have just transformed my kitchen with chalk paint. So I thought I'd film a little how-to DIY in case you're interested in that and if you've just stumbled onto my channel because of it, hi there. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Right, so this is what our kitchen looks like. I mean, they are really nice oak cabinets. It's just, we kind of fancied a bit of a change and to make it a bit more our kind of style. So these are the paints that I've got. It's a Rust-Oleum chalk finish. Um, and yeah, I do a lot of furniture upcycling and things. So I know this brand and I've used it lots before. So I picked the winter gray and the graphite. So the biggest tip that I can give you when you're planning to like paint your cabinets and just transform your space is to work with the style of the cabinets you've got. Ours are quite traditional and they're a bit rustic with kind of knots of grain and like marks taken out of them, which when you paint them are going to show up. So obviously we couldn't pick like a gloss white or something because that just wouldn't work with the... The old style it would kind of jar a bit so that's why the chalk paint was ideal for us and the fact that as you can see I'm a working mum I've got two little boys one and three year old so yeah this project also had to be manageable and something that I could achieve in a short amount of time which is also why I'm not taking the cabinet doors off if you wanted to do this really thoroughly, you could. I did paint the inside of the doors and the outside, but I just masked the area off and went along with them all in situ. I knew my limitations and yeah, it just wasn't going to happen. So the first thing you want to do when working with chalk paint is to make sure your surfaces are nice and clean. I um, did use a sugar soap on these cabinets, but I think a regular household cleaner would have worked just as well. I just wanted to make sure that there was no kind of grease or grime on there from the kitchen. And then, yeah, with chalk paint, it's really great. You don't have to put a primer on or anything, so you can paint straight onto the wood. And I would recommend that you try out your paints and everything on the inside of your cabinets first, so you can get a feel of what it's going to look like and also how many coats you need because chalk paint can get quite thick and claggy um, especially if you're doing multiple coats the second and the third coat you have to thin down so that it doesn't create really thick lines on your cabinets because that wouldn't look nice and you can also sand them as you go so if you do find you've put too much paint on and you've got thick lines just sand it back that's the beauty of chalk paint and you'll be um, good to go. Then once you've done the painting, you've got to wax or seal the paint in some way because chalk paint doesn't contain its own finishing product. So you need to make sure that you've finished it, especially in a kitchen. It's gonna need that layer of protection, otherwise it will just flake. Uh, I actually wanted a bit of an aged look, so I did scrape mine back. I used a knife and some sandpaper and just roughed up all the edges to try and create this kind of aged look and then went on with the wax. Now the reason why I chose this um, winter grey colour for the uppers was because it's got this blue underbase. like ideally I would have liked a white cabinet but with white when you put the wax on it has a tendency to go yellow because you can see the yellow wax. So just try it all out before you kind of go ahead with your decision of what colour you want because that will obviously be quite a difference from being a white cabinet to a cream cabinet whereas the blue in this winter grey kept it all kind of looking true to colour. So yeah, we went for a light grey on the top and then because we've got a dark cooker and a dark washing machine and everything, um, and two little toddlers running around the place, I went for a dark grey on the lower cabinets. So it kind of just gave it a bit of a contrast, but still, as you walk into the kitchen, it feels quite light and airy because of the uppers all being light. But yeah, this uh, this dark grey 
was picked to hide a multitude of stains. <laughs> yeah, and so far it is holding up nicely. And yeah, we just love the colour and the transformation that it's done in the kitchen. So, yeah, to keep the boys occupied, I did have help painting. And this is my little three-year-old who came along to paint with me. I let him paint inside some of the cabinet doors and he was just thrilled to be involved and loves telling everyone who comes to visit that he helped mummy paint the kitchen. Oh uh, yeah, I did keep him on the inside of the doors just to make sure that I could keep it nice and neat on the outside. But like I said, chalk paint, you can cover a multitude of sins with it. So um, yeah, my little one-year-old got the paintbrush on the cabinets and he had a go as well. He's so, yeah. our kitchen. That's just mum life for you. You have to Ooh, do these things. Clever boy. With the kids involved. But yeah, they had a great time and loved it. And yeah, I love the fact that they helped out too. So then this is me just going over with the wax on the lower cabinets. And I used a brush to apply the wax to the cabinets because I wanted to make sure there'd be a really good layer on it just to kind of give it the most protection obviously is going to get kicked and scuffed and mopped and water spilt on it it's yeah it's a working family kitchen needs a lot of protection so this is the finished result it's a small kitchen so the light color has really opened it up and it feels a lot lighter and brighter and the comment that most people have said is it looks a lot more modern as well um, and yeah, we just, we love it. We love this dark grey colour. It works well with our countertops. And yeah, it's just smartened the whole place up. <laughs> yeah, so very pleased with the outcome. Would recommend it. It cost a total of, well, the, the paints were twelve ninety nine, I think. And then the wax was £8. So yeah, that is all I spent. We had the paintbrushes. The hardware is all the same as what was there before. And yeah, just, just paint. And I did all this for under £50, which I'm absolutely thrilled with. So that's it, and my kitchen transformation. We are so pleased with the results. I mean, the cabinets were nice to begin with, but it's just kind of freshened it up and made it feel a bit more modern and really kind of motivated me to kind of do the final declutter and really just get my kitchen organized and in order. And if you're interested in watching a little bit about my kitchen and what I've got in some of the cupboards and all that sort of thing, um, then I have also posted uh, my minimalist kitchen video. So you can kind of have a look at that as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.